Right, so here I am, back on Alien Jim's baby. Well, that's what I'm calling it. You know, the Western world. So, oh, it's an update. I'm not going to do it. Well, yeah, it is an update. But I think it's a quite an important update. Because as you know, like, or maybe you don't. One piece of gold was in the wrong place. That's now been put in the right place. And but more importantly than that, I mean that's just fifty thousand pounds that you're going to miss out on. You know, and not all of you guys are going to want to do the gold. But more importantly, if you are a logger, you like doing your lumberjacking and and whatnot. And yes, you can cut down all the trees, of course you can, but now, here we go, live, because I haven't tried it yet. You can go in here. You can go to, I was supposed to be under decorative, would it? Trees, others. I don't know where they put them actually. That's, have a look, buildings. Land. Trees, of course it is. And now you can pick out of all these lovely trees. I mean, let's find one we can actually cut down. Use that. And now, obviously, when you've bought the land, ha ha ha, yeah, you need to buy the land. Like, obviously, up here there's some land that we own. Yes. Well, come on, faster, faster, follow the path. So here we own this, doesn't we? Like. We can in trees. But for those guys that didn't realise, or ladies or gentlemen or whatever, or other aliens what was unaware, you couldn't do. So Sir Jim went, oh hang on, right. So I'm gonna reduce the trees that I've put in. And I mean he's done that in such a way you know it's hard to tell what's different and I think that's you know quite good so I'm gonna have a little drive around I mean I think the trees are a lot thinner not the trees itself but where it's really you know a bit thinner and I suppose that's how he's reduced it but then he's he's done here look he's done this with more trees so you know it's a bit of an illusion really and that just shows, you know, dedication to the man that's into his maps. You know, he could have left it. And that would have been it. No, 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 not Sir Jim. Oh no. Not the one and only. He goes beyond. And look what he does. And he does it so well. I mean, he was the first... Um, author or mapper to make a map for 22 and now he's got another map out I mean and there's a whole new map it's not a rebuild it's a whole new map so we've got to take our hands off to him really and I have played this I mean, this is a brand new, you know, how it comes, the whole thing. Look at it. I'm not getting no lag. I'm driving really fast. Next to the trees. Brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. So for you guys that are on the wall thinking, oh, but I've got to get rid of all my... Look. Did you enjoy playing it? The way it was. And if so, it's only going to get better when you start all over again. And we had to plant trees, find all the gold in the right places, and enjoy it. It's not about oh, how far you've got, it's about did you enjoy playing it? And if so, you know, here you go. Start again and play it and enjoy it. 
get your mates enjoy it and forget about where you were about where you're going you know in life <clears throat> well in life <clears throat> some things you have to earn and it takes you years to get there and sometimes something happens what's really quite bad in your life and you think to yourself I can sit there and moping around or I can grab this chance by the horns and start a whole new life yes yes of course you got your mates doesn't matter where you are I mean when I was at school and some of my mates live in Wales I don't sit there and go oh I'm not going to talk to you you know I'll get in the car I'll go up there I'll spend a week up there we have a right good bash you know and that time you spent with that person was probably more important than what it was if he was around the corner and you know it took you two minutes to drive there you had a sandwich or dinner or went for a dance or <laughs> you know and you went at home where you know you could go and sit out in the back garden it will fire going with a laugh a joke you know, spend the week there. Oh, weekend even. And you know, but if you're not, if you're more busier the weekend, then go Monday to <laughs> Friday or something. You know, and enjoy yourself and spend doing something you love. Anyway, enough of me. But sometimes in life, you've just got to take the chance. You know, for me, I've not done what I wanted to do. I had everything I wanted in life and then, you know, people pass away. And over the last few months, a lot of people in my life have passed away. I mean, I'm not going to go into it. People would know, no, and that's all I'm going to say. But... What do I do? Sit in the same place and wait for me to pass away? Or do I get out there and enjoy life? You know, and the only way I can do that is not to have to work every day. You know? Unless I want to do something. So, if I want to go and work, then I've got my channel and I'm going to spend that time enjoying what I do. And as you guys are probably aware of lately. I don't think that ring, that ring must have been there, but I don't remember it being. Life, it must have, it must have been, even it's put extra bits in. But, uh, sorry, Jimmy, if I missed it, so that's quite cool. It does it float though. <laughs> oh, you're gonna put something there. Ah, oh, that, I don't think that was there. Did it? Well, that's not a very good life ring, is it? I mean, what is the point of that life ring? It sunk! So, Jim, I love your maps, but that life ring ain't much cop. I mean, it was lovely sitting here. I was trying to save the gold from over there, and it fell in the water and sunk. <laughs> you can only do what the game allows you to do. <laughs> oh, dear. So, as you can see, all the gold was back. So... Will I go around and get it? Yeah, of course I will, probably. Yeah, it'll probably be when I'm skin and got no money. Because this is what I've been waiting for, this to come out. And it came out, oh, okay, it came out yesterday. The way I see it, I've done mine and I've just given people a chance to do theirs before I rush mine out. As you see, now, 
Well, it doesn't look much different, really. Well, it does, because... Uh, you've got one over here now. What you didn't have. Cup of tea. I tell you, that cup of tea must be cold as cold. <laughs> but, this is the map. This is what it is. Do you start with the same equipment that you did before? Well, let's have a look. Oh, it looks like it. I thought he was getting rid of one of the vehicles, but it doesn't look like he did. No better trainer. That looks like the same trailer. Anyway, cool. But this is where you start. This is your base off base, you know, and get all your things in there. Nice little farm. And this is just starting equipment. There is a forklift up the other end in that thing we saw. Yeah, the forklift. There. Electric one. Yeah. This here, the charger. And you have this here. I thought that was a prop when I first saw it, and then I realised it was fully unloaded and whatnot. So, start off with 100,000. Obviously, I bought that. Them trees. Oh, you just can't. I love it. I love it. I when it's things like that, especially when you can turn them on, turn them off, you know, all that good stuff. It's fantastic. Get your train up there. What comes through? That level again, it comes along this line and it's oh dear, oh that's good. Yeah, comes along there About every 20 minutes or something. Quite nice, especially if you're like you guys know I've been plowing this field. If you've seen any of my videos, I've been plowing this field, and you know, and then all of a sudden the train comes along, it's just like, different to look at, you know. And it was done so well with two engines and a long, long train. I mean, would it have been nice if it went around the map? You can't think like that. You can't think like that. You know, this is what the man sees in his mind. And you've got to go with it. You know? I mean, when you're so creative like Jim, you don't want to be told what to do. You do what you want to do. You know, you spend the time that you want to do. And if you you guys don't like it, then don't tell him. <laughs> Just, you know. You know, we all sit there and think, oh, well, I want to do this, and I would have put that there, and this would have been different, and this tree would have been... Go and make your map. If you don't like what we see, go make it. Go and <coughs> spend, you know, two, three, six months, make your map, you know, maybe even longer. Some of these authors, they spend about a year, two years, creating their world. Anyway. Everyone's going, well, it's like No Man's Land. It's nothing like No Man's Land. Nothing. You know, No Man's Land, you have to put everything together. The sales place is here already. You know, there's gold on the map that you can do. There's buildings there. There's farms. You know, yes, there's no fields and you create it. That's the only part I think is the same. And because you know you're in America, or it's based on America. You can go wild with what equipment you use. You know, when you was on No Man's Land in France, I felt like, well, I can't use this machine. I can't use that machine. I have to stick little. But here, you can do what you want, and I totally, totally love it. 
Anyway, that is me rambling on like I do. Ram, ram, rambling on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Please leave me some feedback. Yeah? And if you... In life. You know, we had lockdown and all that. Didn't go nowhere. You guys ever... A chance... Do something what you really want to do. Reach out, grab it, and do it. Because you never know when your last day is here. You just never know. So grab it by the horns and let's get on. Until next time, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is FB Gaming. I'll see you on the next one.